Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? I don't know if I usually go. Yeah, I, I started up here and this is the bowling out. It should be like, yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Most Bone. We're going to start off with the locker code before we get in this video. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. I know you guys have, but if you aren't, make sure you do so. Locker code, I always tweet out there. So I want this Magic Johnson. This is a W locker code. And I don't like that you guys be complaining about some of these. They're free absolutely free take absolutely nothing and i'm gonna get earl boykins gg i really sold that so bad i wanted to drop for magic but it's okay we'll take whatever we get man free equals w regardless so we'll take that i know i told you guys john wall gameplay today but actually a lot of stuff happened and i was actually not even gonna get it at all like there was literally gonna be no video today i tweeted no upload today and some of you guys were upset and you guys have the right to be do so and to be because honestly i've I've been uploading like consistently for so long. I actually don't remember the last time I missed one. So today I'll just bring you guys Pink Diamond Larry Sanders gameplay. He's really, really easy to Evo. I Evoed him a long time ago. I told you guys he wasn't worth it at the time, like when I was Evoing him, because he really sucked at diamonds. Like I ain't even gonna lie, he was missing layups left and right and all this other stuff. But at Pink Diamond, he's pretty solid. Like he's not bad. Obviously, he's not a stretch. So you might get off bold if you're playing triple threat. You can't really five out with him. But if it's like four out, one in and all that, he's a really good rebounder. He holds it down. If you guys see the gameplay from yesterday with De'Aaron Fox, this guy was grabbing every rebound. He was blocking shots and he does all that. 31 Hall of Fame badges, Acrobat, Relentless, Post, Drop, Put Back, Brick Wall, Rim Protector. He's got Quick First Step. He's got Chase Down, Clamps, Defensive Leader, Interceptor, Intimidator. Dude's actually pretty solid. Like legitimately a solid card. I do like him for like... He's your typical guy. He just can't shoot. Like, legit, he can play everything else. He's 6'11". You see, his mid-range is at 85, so he does got the midi. But, like, bro, trust me, you're not going to shoot with him. Like, his mid-range is okay. Like, his shot... We'll, we'll show you everything instead of me talking. We'll show you everything. But he can finally finish layups down low. That was an issue at Diamond. Dude was not hitting nothing. Post moves a little all right. Like, I actually tried out his post moves. They actually fall, so they're not bad. His driving dunks at 95, which is solid. 83 ball handling, solid. He got an 88 steal, 96 block. His rebounding is crazy. 96 offensive, 92 defensive, and he's fast. That's the best part when he becomes like a pink diamond and stuff. You look at his speed and his rebounding, and you're like, all right, man, this guy can actually hang with it. I don't know if y'all peeped the 92 lateral quickness, but let's take him to triple threat. This is going to be a short video. I appreciate y'all support always and forever. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We're going to take a look at his price and see if he's actually worth it, if you guys should evil him yourself. But let's play a quick triple threat game to start. So we match up versus Wall. It's De'Aaron versus Johnny. Let's see who's got the number. Ooh, John just went all around me. Okay, buddy. So y'all could watch my man try some post moves out. He makes his way down there. He's definitely a traditional big though, like I said. He's fast. He's good defensively. He just can't shoot. Like, he's not gonna stretch your floor. He's gonna grab you a lot of rebounds though. I don't know how to get you guys gameplay with it. Oh! -ho -ho! That's how you do it, baby. You put on a show, Larry. So compared to most centers in the game, I'm not going to say he's better than any of them. I'm not going to say he's better than Bam. Y'all not going to catch me saying he's better than Morning. You're not going to catch me saying he's better than any of these expensive centers. But for his price, this card probably goes for absolutely nothing. And I can't wait to see. For his price, if you need a budget center, he's going to be up there for you. And let me give this ball to De'Aaron, man. I'm just going to shoot with somebody else. He's so fast, man. He's so fast. He could finish now. He couldn't finish before. I'm going to show you guys his jump shot. I'm definitely going to take a couple of jumpers. I didn't check to see if he had any hot zones, so I don't really know if he does. Ooh, he's too quick, bro. He's too quick. Look at that block, baby. He gets the block right there, and he's out. We're going to take a look at his jumper on this one. I think that's what I want to do right here. Let me see what we got. We're going to take a look at the jump shot right here. That was green, so his release, I didn't like it. Like, I know he greens, but it wasn't a fluid jump shot. We're going to take one more, and the jump shot's okay. It's actually not that bad. It really isn't that bad. The thing is, it could definitely be better, but he dropped 14 and 10 in his first triple threat game. So I don't think there's anybody in the world talking about this card, and rightfully so. There's definitely better cards out there. But for 1,200 MT, there's nothing you could probably do that's better. I'm just going to be honest. Like, 1,200? Can you really go wrong with that price? Be honest with me. 
Do you think you could go wrong with that price? I don't think so. So this is the price for his pink diamond. What I'm gonna say is, if you're grinding out Kobe challenges or something like that, if that's what you're doing, and you don't have a lot of MT, or you don't have anyone to grind or anything, pick him up, he'll evolve really, really fast. And that's a 1017, you're not gonna make a lot of MT, it's not a lot at all. But I'm saying if you really have no MT, it's an easy flip. If you need a center to help you with any challenges or anything like that, this card can definitely do the job. He'll rebound for you, he'll block shots for you. He won't stretch the floor, so I do apologize for anyone that needs the floor to be stretched. But other than that, this card, pink diamond, pretty solid. Obviously, he can't compare to a lot of cards, but let's go through some of my centers that I have, and I'll say if I think he can hang with them. So if you look at Jack Sigma and Sanders, Jack Sigma way better offensively. And y'all know people think Jack Sigma got good defense, but this card Sanders actually got way better defense in my opinion so that's one thing to look at obviously like I said he can't compare with a lot of these guys like in shooting like he really can not but defensively I take him over most of these guys rebounding wise he'll really grab you so many boards so this is just a suggestion for anyone who needs a really really cheap point guard I do recommend him in that sense he's way better than this Patrick Ewing without a doubt I take him over my McAdoo too I know McAdoo could shoot a little bit but I'd still take him over that. I'll take him over Pink Diamond Dwight. I know some people might roast me for this, but I'm taking him over Pink Diamond Dwight. When it comes to Kareem, that's a toss up maybe, but I think Larry can really hold it down. That's just me talking, like being for real with you guys. So keep that in mind. Russell Westbrook would destroy him. If you know, you know, but otherwise, yo, let me know what you guys think if any of you tried this out. And I promise y'all the real bangers start tomorrow. I got bangers tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm going to make it up to you guys. Like I said, at Amethyst and Diamond, this card is trash. But Pink Diamond, he's not that bad. I'll see you guys later. It's been your boy Mo's Bowling and Bowling out.